I look, I looked like a million dollars, but now I'm just like, <laughs> you know. Yes. Let's just end it there. Thanks very much, guys. No, no I'm not done. done. <laughs> end. I told you, the I am God in this plan. God, Jesus. Who are you I talking to? Love him. <laughs> Germany loves us. Be the best fucking metal band out there. Yeah, I have a comment. Fuck you. <laughs> Love you. I got a comment. Love you. Okay, cool. I'm getting up now. <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> Space brand. I, <laughs> I'm not really sure myself because uh, start like a hobby and mutate it to something totally out of shape or I don't understand anymore because it looks like my sculptures take me to a journey through different uh, kind of uh, like worlds, you know, like music or different kind of people I meet, you know. It's evolved to something totally strange now because uh, uh, now I'm playing in a band in a metal scene and it's crazy, you know. So I don't know when it's gonna end. And today you had an event with um, Shining and Shitlift. Tell us about that. It's really like you can call it underground punk studio thing, you know, 300 square meters of pure evil, I call it. And uh, we can do there what we want. We can have loud music, I can do my sculptures, we can have parties there and underground parties and releases of different bands and I'm really looking for for getting some special uh, music bands in there, you know, like more underground, not like the big thing. And how was um, the turnout? Did, did loads of people come? We had a good gig, the people enjoyed it and I'm happy. I didn't make any money, I didn't want to make any money, I just want a good time for the people and they had it. When they got a good time, I got a good time. And um, Shitlift and Shining was playing there. Um, what's your involvement with them? So I play in a bass called the Holy Bass in Shitlift. So I s and um, Niklas, he's playing a guitar. And you've worked with quite a few bands with your art. Um, tell us which bands you've worked with and um, how much did you work with them? So my favorite band I was working together with before it was uh, Red Harvest and then after I worked with Mayhem I had a bit of involvement with uh, Satyricon and uh, Dimi Berge and it's uh, probably uh, it's lots of bands already asking uh, me if I want to do a Mikey von Stand or do uh, shit like this but I don't want to do it anymore so I'm uh, playing in the band myself and I use all the ideas now for Shitly or for Shining Oh shit! What? What was that? Don't ever start with art. I'm here with um, Quaforth from Shining. How are you doing? Well, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do four gigs in four days. And uh, I fucked up my finger. And uh, I'm gonna have an operation on Monday for a brain tumor. So everything is pretty thrilling, I guess. Um, I hate festivals. And I hate having to um, meet a lot of people. But uh, in general, it's okay. And how did you fuck up your finger? Uh, last night I performed with a band called Urgal. Mm -hmm. And um, I was kicking some people in the face in the audience. Um, after a while I got s angry for some reason and uh, I started to beat him and I had this wooden thing so I fucked up. <laughs> and tonight? Completely blue. Tonight it was really hard for me because um, I only like with Shining I only play guitar on the records. Give us a brief 
group history on um, Shining? Hmm. I started um, back in 96 and um, I was a very odd boy or to put it like this all the other members that I incorporated in the band back then was like um, 15 to 20 years older so um, I did the band and um, I used these people as tools and I manipulated them and I even managed to destroy some of them pretty severely which is pretty much from a 12 year old like it was on the first album um, and I fucked up really bad with some things but um, the whole concept of the band is, is um, how should I put this it's like a gun pointed against your head you know um, I, want, I want to hurt people and I actually have the capacity of hurting people especially that's why you know I'm not interested in uh, throwing pearls to swine like you know um, doing a record um, that would please people uh, I mean like people that I uh, associate with because of the simple fact that it would never give me anything I want, don't want to give positive feelings you know but uh, there is a huge market especially in the commercial black metal blah 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 bullshit yeah. where we can reach a lot of young kids and hopefully make them destroy themselves and their families and their friends you know you had an operation on your throat which is apparently quite common for um, some vocalists that do the type of you know vocals that you do um, tell us about that and what happened I didn't do it you didn't do it no because I went into another kind of hospital and um, they thought that they should put a lot of medication into me instead um, for my head because I have this panic anxiety attack and apart from that, I'm doing this other operation on Monday for the brain tumor that I have. Which is pretty thrilling, actually. You do, there's not a lot of people that die from it. But I can always hope, you know. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, a lot of Shining's lyrics is um, based on like suicide and harming yourself and taking drugs. Do all the band members feel strongly about that? To begin with, there is not... Um, many songs that is about suicide actually. So what is it about then? Tell us. No, um, I mean the, the lyrics in Shining is all about negativity in general and how to force feed the youth of today. Um, suicide is a concept that has been used several times because of the simple fact that uh, a lot of young kids um, they can relate to that and say, oh, okay he feels just like I feel in my head and they go and cut themselves up and destroy their lives for the devil. Um, and I want to think that it's because of me, in a way. Um, and I also know, you know, as I told you earlier, regarding the manipulation factor as well, uh, it's very easy to fuck up the lives of all these black metal kids, you know. But it's a subculture, like any subculture, you know. It's, uh, that's why I hate black metal in that sense as well. Because it's fucking ridiculous having all these people, um, which are just kids who have had a miserable life or been fucked by daddy and the asshole, you know. Um, but at the same time, it's a very good, good thing to use for me because it's easy to manipulate such weak people. You know? Well, I can say I'm tired. My brain is fried. I've actually done this three times or four times already because I can't fucking do it. That's how good this festival was. I recommend you must come. Just bring a shitload of money because the beer is fucking expensive. Till next time.